In Obsidian, there are two primary methods that we can use to add front meta or metadata to a note. Let's take a look at the first method. In the first method, we can add three dashes like so. We can type in alias, colon, and then the alias that we want to give our note. We can add as many aliases as we want. An alias is simply just another way to refer to a note. So whether it's something that makes more sense from a language perspective, or in this case, I just want to rename this note method one with um, the alphabetical or the text version of one. So I'll just say method one like so. And then I'm going to close it like that. When I'm referring to the note, you'll see that method one comes up as a suggested term. If I click on this, it will automatically add in that alias markup there. The second thing we can do is we can add tags like so. And we can add as many tags as we want here. So we can say one, two, three, four. And it'll add tags like so. Just take note, you don't need to put a hash in front of it um, as it will not work. It will break it if you put a hash tag in front of it. There you go. Now, something to note with aliases is that it needs to be separated by a comma, but in order to separate your aliases by a comma, you need to put it in an array. And the way you do that is you make a square bracket like so. And we could say first method like so. Okay. Now we've just added two aliases to our note, method one and first method. They all essentially mean the same thing. Note that I also didn't leave a space. And there you have it. There's our two aliases, method one and first method. And if I go into edit mode again and say first method, you'll see that it comes up as a recommended note. Yeah. There are a few other keys or um, classes that we can add to this front meta. I forget what the actual terminology is, but aliases and tags is the first one. I mean, sorry, is the primary ones that I use. Keep in mind, you can also add other terms like date. I'm going to put today's date in so. But you'll notice that Obsidian doesn't automatically mark it up. However, you'll still be able to query this in a query or in a data view search. It will still come up. Yeah, so that, that's front meta method one. Now let's go look at method two. So in method two, it's very simple. Some people prefer this, some people don't. Um, I do. What we're going to do here is we're just going to say um, tags, and we're going to put two semicolons there. Sorry, two colons there. And I'm just going to say note, or let's actually just do one, two, three, four. As far as I know, there's no other way to add an alias other than with this method here, method one. As far as I know, that's the only way to add an alias. But this is also a way of adding front meta and metadata. And this, um, these two colons here together show Obsidian and Data View, um, which is a plugin, that this is a, a field that you want to query. So there you have it. That's method one and two for adding metadata and tags, uh, front meta to your notes. Um, I hope you found that helpful.